Sebastian Vettel made his Formula One debut at the 2007 United States Grand Prix, demonstrating a maturity and confidence well beyond his years, giving us just a glimpse of the greatness to come. At the time, the German Wunderkind was test driver for the BMW Sauber team. But Robert Kubica's massive crash in Canada just four days earlier had meant the Polish driver required medical checks before he would be cleared to race in Indiana. The doctors decided it was too much of a risk. So Vettel would make his Grand Prix debut, and from his first laps around the famous Indianapolis Speedway, it was clear he was no ordinary rookie. Over the three practice sessions, the teenager was the third quickest driver on the circuit, with only the McLarens of Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton managing faster laps. Vettel's prowess on track wasn't totally surprising. He'd been a four-wheel wizard for almost as long as he could walk. A kart racer at the age of eight, he was accepted into the Red Bull Junior karting team just three years later. His move to open wheel racing led to the 2004 German Formula BMW Championship. And two years later, when BMW bought into the Sauber team, he became their F1 test driver and shortly thereafter, race reserve. He made his on-track debut in a practice session for the 2006 Turkish Grand Prix, aged just 19 years and 53 days. At the time, the youngest driver to participate in an F1 championship weekend. But it would be a year before he got his chance to shine in an actual race. And he made the most of it. Getting into the top 10 in his first qualifying session, he would start the race from P7 with teammate Nick Heidfeld just two places in front. Is go! There was drama from the start. Vettel was down four places, but still in the race. He has no, no reference points heading down there, but he got away with it. He's currently P10. What followed was an assured, measured and intelligent drive as he regained his composure. His execution was exemplary, and his rigour and determination paid off, with a terrific eighth place for the precocious teenager, becoming, at the time, the youngest driver to score a point in Formula One. But despite his prowess, Vettel was released by Sauber in July of 2007 to reconvene his journey with Red Bull Racing, joining the Toro Rosso F1 team after Scott Speed was dropped mid-season, and finishing a magnificent fourth at the penultimate race in China. The following season, he claimed two more records, youngest pole sitter and youngest Grand Prix winner in a miraculous performance at Monza. This has been one of the most impressive things I've ever seen in almost 20 years in Formula One. Sebastian Vettel is a Grand Prix winner. You have won the Italian Grand Prix. You have won the Italian Grand Prix. Bravissimo. Impressionante. For sure the best day of my life. These pictures, these emotions, I will, I will never forget. It's unbelievable. It's so much better than you might think it is. Now he'd proven he was truly exceptional and ready for the next test. Replacing the retiring David Coulthard in the Red Bull senior team, 2009 was Vettel's best season to date. Great job, Sebastian. Proud of you. Great job. A total of eight podiums with victories in China, Great Britain, Japan and the finale in Abu Dhabi saw him finish second in the Drivers' Championship to Jensen Button. <laughs> 2010 witnessed one of the fiercest battles for the driver's crown in years, as Vettel and teammate Mark Webber traded wins with former world champions Button, Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton. But Vettel prevailed in the final round in Abu Dhabi, du bist Weltmeister. becoming the youngest Formula One champion in history. Oh, thank you, boy. Unbelievable. Thank you, I love you.
Sebastian Vettel, you are the world champion! You are the man! And that victory was the catalyst for a remarkable period of success, as Vettel and Red Bull dominated the sport for the next three years, with the German claiming four successive championships, matching the great Juan Manuel Fangio in the process. Yes! Only his hero and compatriot Michael Schumacher had done better. We have to remember these days. Because there's no guarantee that they will last forever. Enjoy them as long as they last. I love you guys. However, 2014 saw a power shift, with Mercedes beginning the new turbo hybrid era as the dominant force. And Vettel made the call to end his 15-year relationship with Red Bull. Following in Schumacher's footsteps, he joined Ferrari. Sebastian Vettel swerving, weaving, dancing to the chequered flag. He wins as a Ferrari driver for the first time. The move to Formula One's most successful team ultimately proved not what either party had hoped for. And despite multiple individual Grand Prix wins, he was unable to reach his previous heights. Runner-up to Lewis Hamilton in both 2017 and 2018 in his time at Maranello. He fell just short of adding to his championship haul. No chance. Like a train. And at the beginning of 2020, it was announced that Vettel and Ferrari would part ways at the end of the season. It remains to be seen whether he can grab that elusive fifth world title. But whatever happens next, Vettel's place amongst Formula One's greatest champions is already assured. <laughs>